We've been trapping mule deer for the past few days here in, in South Central Wyoming. And uh, this is a field trip of sorts. The student organization called the Student Chapter of the Wildlife Society, which is a, it's actually a national organization. And we have a couple state chapters and uh, student chapters in Kansas, Emporia State and Kansas State University. So we have a joint exercise here actually between the two student chapters. And, and trips like this provide us with uh, opportunities that you don't get in a classroom obviously and even opportunities beyond what we can offer in a field trip with a class this is out so we're during winter break here and and uh, so we had a little extra time and uh, fortunate to have made contacts uh, through uh, past experiences at other universities kansas state for example where i met tony mong the wyoming game and fish biologist who's been our host for the past few days. So through that, those sorts of connections, we've been able to come up with opportunities to help out other uh, biologists and give our students some professional experiences uh, that they can uh, either put on their resume or at least know that they've been exposed to various areas in biology. That was intense. I was uh, holding the antlers on the big buck and it was, it was intimidating. He was a powerful creature. I have a respect for it now, definitely. Really, I've, I've pet deer and zoos and things like that, but certainly nothing wild. Uh, nothing in the cold like this. <laughs> I learned so much and when I signed up for it, I thought I'm probably a little crazy to want to go to Wyoming in the middle of winter when it's freezing with snow and before the trip, I was a little nervous. It was like, what's gonna happen? And now that I'm here, I've just had a blast. My name is Tony Mong. I'm a wildlife biologist with Wyoming Game and Fish out of the uh, Bags area. Uh, we've been working on this mule deer project now for about six years. Uh, this project really was born out of a need for information for management for uh, the mule deer herd here in this area uh, to gather information to give us Kind of the best data we could have to make management decisions for uh, managing mule deer here in south central Wyoming. This project really rolled into more and more about not only the, the data we were collecting but also allowing people to, the opportunity to get involved with management research type of activities and that's really what brought ESU here. This type of trapping requires a large number of volunteers to be able to really hold animals down while we work up the animals and collect the information we need. So it was a great pairing of uh, volunteers as well as uh, professionals to gather that data that, that we need to manage these herds. We were able to capture uh, four animals, four mule, deers, uh, mule deer uh, this week and uh, two of those were uh, large enough bucks that we were able to attach satellite collars on and so that will uh, directly impact uh, some research we're doing on mule deer bucks and movements. Uh, so experiences like this uh, for undergraduate uh, wildlife students especially are, are kind of few and far between. So the ability to be able to, to come out here and, and uh, uh, do projects like this is I think a real boost not only for our research but also for their careers as they're gaining experience that most other undergraduates across the United States will not be able to, get, to gain. Awesome experience. It was, it's a lot great. Learn something new today. I don't know about you, but this trip has made Monmouth management so much more yes, than just a class. Because yep. yep. everything that Jensen taught us is essentially being recovered. It's like a field experience. Yeah, it it's essentially a class. field trip exactly with the class. Yep. Well, I'm a fish person, so it's a little weird for me to be out here chasing giant deer <laughs> that weigh a lot more than me, but this will help my career for sure. Uh, just having this experience and the knowledge set to help other people in my field. It sounded like a fairly entertaining thing to do to uh, trap large powerful deer in a net and uh, subdue them by tackling them and uh, it's all sounded pretty risky and uh, it was but with the help of several people uh, probably the most impressive moment was seven of us lying on top of a large buck with uh, uh, I guess seven very sharp antler points and a broad beam and students and myself holding down this massive head several others on the body uh, while the thing was being processed tagged uh, 
blood samples taken. And uh, so after all the sampling was done, the nets off the deer, we all had to let go simultaneously. And it was a pretty amazing thing. It was, a, it, was, it was such a good feeling, not only just to be handling the animal, but then to be letting it go and seeing it be freed to go about its business so that biologists can then follow its activity. Uh, so it was really a, uh, yeah, a pretty powerful moment.